All right, today we're gonna to talk about 3.5 Performance Edition release for F3 boards. Okay, for Betaflight 3.4, uh, Joe Lucet was kind enough to build Performance Edition releases for, like I said, F3 boards. The reason this needs done is because F3 boards are hitting up against their ROM limit, which is where Betaflight is stored. So bottom line with this is nobody should be buying F3 boards anymore. Um, it's going to get increasingly difficult to fit Betaflight or other firmwares on that board. Don't buy a new F3 board anymore. Make sure it's an F4 or above. With that though, uh, Betaflight 3.5 does not have a performance edition released yet. I went ahead and forked and uh, made the code changes necessary to do that. I did not post up here the F4 boards. I might have. Some of these, um, I'm not sure if they're F3 or F4 because it doesn't say it directly in the name and I'm not doing that level of research. But when it had the F4 or F7 in the target name, I, I took it out of here. If you have an F4 or 7 board, don't get it from this website or don't get it from uh, this repository or this release get it from the official release page from Betaflight because those F4 boards don't need to, to sacrifice this stuff to uh, fit in the Performance Edition stuff. Just like before, Performance Editions have absolute control added, iTerm Relax, and uh, smoothing filtering or RC smoothing added for F3 targets. The sacrifices, they do not have Acro Trainer, PWM, or PPM. I think on some of them you might be able to fit PWM or PPM. So if you do need that for your specific target, but you'd like these other features, let me know and I can look at that and uh, and see if, I don't, I don't think these take up that much room. I think it's really the, the Acro Trainer that takes up a lot of space. To flash these targets, the first thing you would need to do is click on one of them and then hit save, save it to your computer. After that, go into Betaflight, go to the flash page, go to load local firmware, Find the target, click it, it will load. I don't believe you need to pick your target up here, but I always do it. I pick my target and then I'll hit flash and it will flash it up. I'm not going to do that, I've done it before. So I'm going to go ahead and con hit connect. After you've flashed your target, whether you've hit full chip erase or not on that previous screen, you have to go in and hit reset settings. This is a suspicion of mine. I do have some experience to back that up and, and some others have said the same thing and I've, I've covered this before is if you don't do that sometimes there's weird artifacts left over. Uh, I guess uh, where the variables are saved is in a certain piece of ROM that's supposed to erase it all but I've seen it not sometimes. I haven't really recorded that in a data so take it for a grain of salt. It doesn't take anything. Just hit reset settings here and then after that hit calibrate accelerometer once you have your quad level on the desk and then honestly you should again fly the defaults do not import PIDs or filter settings from 3.3 through 3.4 or into 3.5 without flying the defaults first fly the defaults see how that works and then if you're like yeah you know I've, I've worked through the same kind of issue with PID adjustments or filter adjustments I'm gonna go ahead and in introduce those then go ahead and do that Obviously, bringing in OSD settings from your, and this board doesn't have an OSD, but OSD settings is, um, that's something different. There's this phenomenon we're seeing out there where like, oh, 3.3, my motors were, were cool on these micros, and it seems like micros are very uh, susceptible to motor heat. They're very touchy with that. And now on 3.4, my motors are hot. Well, the reason being is on 3.3, the defaults had all these filters, well, not the gyro low pass, but had these additional filters turned on, and these were the defaults. So if you were just, you know, flashing and flying, you had all this filtering turned on in 3.3, plus, and I'll save that, plus in the configuration tab, many people uh, knew to turn on the dynamic filter, which is on by default. Uh, it was not on in 3.3 by default, but it is on 3.4 and 3.5. But in 3.3, again, people were turning that on because they kind of knew about it, had a high enough profile, people knew to turn on the dynamic filter. So they had the dynamic filter plus the static filters turned on. And honestly, hopefully your quad doesn't need all that filtering, but if you're flashing from 3.3 up to 3.4 or 5, and then all of a sudden the motors are now hot, 
and these are turned off, well then turn these on. Apparently you do. Uh, my biggest recommendation is try to solve that vibration issue. That means you have a lot of vibration. Now, um, three point, we're talking about 3.5 here today. 3.5 has uh, better dynamic filtering than in 3.4. So if you have hot motors in 3.4 because of not having these on, go ahead and flash up to 3.5, but don't turn these on right away. See how she goes. We made some pretty decent improvements to the dynamic filter. There's even more improvements coming in 4.0, which we'll get to in a later video. But just wanted to cover that. And the same thing for you know pit settings. Don't bring in your old pits. Fly these defaults, especially in 3.5 with the new feed forward and everything. If you do all that and you still have hot motors, if you can, record a log and send it to me because I'd love to see it. Because, I don't know, a lot of the guys that are really kind of in the know see this as a very strange phenomenon and nobody has any data to back up those these claims. So if you have hotter motors for some reason, record a log. And then if you have a log of 3.3, send that to me. I will look at it personally and see if there is any validity to this thing that's out there. I kind of just think it's a defaults thing and people aren't recognizing that these are off and their quads are a lot noisier than they than they think and also that you know for micros four inch and below our quads that the motors are a lot more susceptible to temperature or more touchy when it comes to to heat and temperature so what are we talking about here uh, we're talking about under the PID tab in Betaflight 3.5 if you go in and you know, on a, or in your F3 board, if you would toggle, if you have the official release from the Betaflight website and, and toggle iTerm Relax, hit save, you know, go back into sale, fail safe or any of the other tabs and then come back, you'll see this toggle would reverse itself. It won't allow you to turn on iTerm Relax because that feature is not a part of the firmware. With the these performance editions, you can turn on all this stuff. So I'll turn on absolute control, iTerm Relax, and then you can hit save. And then you can see here if I toggle out and toggle back, they are still turned on. And the um, RC smoothing is under the receivers tab. So you would change this from interpolation to filter. Leave, I recommend leaving these as auto and hit save here. And then again, that will, will hold as long as you have the performance edition put in. So I think this is a, you know, I would think the most amount of F3 boards uh, it's coming in micro quads or you know RTF ready to fly um, products that people are buying so here you go if there's any issues please let me know and I hope this helps